everybody. Welcome to my video. Today, I've got for you my top 10 favorite drugstore foundations. Now, these foundations, I'm telling you, they are just, I love drugstore foundations. I mean, you could find some that work just as well as the high end. And oh my gosh, for the price, I mean, come on. It, it's like a big game. I mean, th that is the game. You go to the drugstore, you try to find something cheaper than the high end, so you don't have to use all that money. I mean, if you're anything like me, I love foundation. I mean, I've got boxes of foundation that I ain't even opened yet. So if you want to find out which one are my 10 favorites, keep watching. Okay, everybody, so let's get started. Now I'm going to start at number 10, and then we're going to get number one. Now number one is my favorite, so we're going to go backwards. So starting with number 10, I have got, this is the Revlon Age Defying with the DNA Advantage. It says it's a cream makeup, and I've got mine in medium beige. Now some of these colors are a little bit off because I am different colors. I like the tan sometimes. Sometimes I like the bronze. It all depends. But if you can see it, I'm not sure you can't see it that well. And packaging, of course, I'll look at packaging also. This, it is, it's awesome, I love this. It is glass and it's got the square top and it's also a pump. Now, if you're anything like me, that's what you're going for. You want the pump, you don't wanna make a mess. It does, it gets everywhere. But also the foundation, it is very creamy and it does, I would say this would be a light to medium coverage. Now you can layer this up to be full coverage, but once you start doing that, then it starts getting a little bit heavy. So it's not really the lightest foundation that you've ever put on, but it is. It's an awesome foundation and it does last. And that is the most important thing is do they last? And this one definitely does. Now for number nine, and this is the older one, it's the Wet n Wild The Cover All Cream Foundation. I'm not sure if you can see that that well. I've got to fix lighting it. But this is the old packaging. And oh my goodness, I love this. And I have tried the new one. The new one is just as great. But you know what? I love this. This is only four bucks at the drugstore. And it just works awesome. I have loved this ever since they come out with it. I tried it. And it, it wears, it, it don't really last as long as the others, but it does last. And it doesn't cake up and it doesn't crease up under your eyes. This is a beautiful, smooth foundation. And it, it's, it's not really a luminous foundation and it's not really matte. It meets somewhere in the middle and that's what I love. I have combination skin, so I love this cream makeup. It, I mean, it just comes out flawless. Now for number eight, let's see, you know, where did I stick that one? Here it is. Now this is the older packaging, the L'Oreal Infallible Advanced Never Fail Makeup. And if you could tell, that one is very loved. This one is, you know, it's supposed to last for 18 hours. Now I don't think it lasts all that long. I think I, the longest I've ever wore was maybe about four hours. And it did start caking up on me and I did have to repowder. But other than that, this, this foundation is beautiful. It has got a beautiful, flawless look. The only problem is, is the last time with this isn't as long as the others. And you just can't keep reapplying liquid foundation during the day. So the more powder that goes onto it, it just seems like it cakes it up a little bit more. So... In the long run, I don't think I would pick this one to wear all day long, but if, you're, if you've are if you just got an event for a couple of hours or so, I say go for it. This one would work wonderful. Okay, now for the seventh. This it comes in number seventh and for a good reason. I mean, it is a really good foundation. This is the Maybelline Instant Rewind. This is the eraser. It says treatment makeup. I'm not sure. Look at that. Oh my God, my nails are still so awful. Now, I've got mine in buff. And they do come out with concealer that's just, it's in a smaller tube. And the concealer is awesome. I mean, it really works great. The foundation, not a lot of people like this one, but I love this foundation. I mean, I, it just goes with my skin. And it, that goes to show you how everybody's different. I mean, everybody has their preference. It works different on everybody. 
And this one just works on me. And I have found a lot of videos with people with a lot of hate for this product, but it's just because, you know, stuff works different on everybody. And this one just works for me. And like I said, it is in buff. Not sure if you can see that that well. And actually, I tore my sponge off. Now, this does come with a little sponge, but I found that so nasty that I just, I took it off. A lot of people leave theirs on. I just prefer to take mine off because I feel like a sponge will hold a lot of germs and everything. I didn't feel that that was very healthy doing that. But, you know, as for Lasting Power, this one, again, it's, it's at the bottom of the list, and that's why. Because of the Lasting Power. But it does wear very beautifully. I would say it would be a medium coverage. Um, I don't really layer this one up because one time I did layer that up, I just sort of looked like a clown. It, almost like it was cracking, not really caked up. I mean, it was caking up like around my nose and it would wear off my nose, but it was like it was cracking and I don't understand that. That's why it is, you know, near the bottom of the list but like i said it might work for a lot of people the last in power for me it just didn't okay now for number i think we're on number six i'm not sure yes we are we're on number six now this it's not really new out maybe i think it's been about a year since it's been out it's the l'oreal the 24-hour foundation the infallible total coverage or total cover i'm sorry and this one is in creamy natural now, I've got this, like, it's a cooler tone, but there's a lot of times throughout the year when I am a cooler tone. I am very light, so this does, I usually have to mix this with something, but I have used this before by itself, and it works just beautifully, and it does. It really does last. I'm not sure about 24 hours. I've never had makeup on that long. You know, there are times I fell asleep in my makeup, and... Trust me, girls, don't do that. Oh, my God, it's awful. It feels like my face is so itchy the next day. But, you know, it happens. You get sleepy. You want to go to bed instead of washing your face. And I do it all the time. My goodness. I'm... It's just one of those things. But I've never fell asleep with this one on. And maybe I should try this just to see if it works. But I know it does last throughout the day when I do wear it. It wears all day long. The longest I've ever wore this, maybe about six hours. And it is a matte foundation. It just it's so beautiful and flawless. I love that flawless look. And I also I love the luminous look too. That's why this is a little bit near the bottom. But you know what? A soft matte is the perfect foundation for me. Like I said, I'm combination skin, but a, it's beautiful. This is a very beautiful foundation. And if you haven't tried it, you ought to give this one a shot. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of reviews where it works for a lot of people. And there's just a few videos where there was people that it just didn't quite work out for them. So, if you're ever at the drugstore, pick this one up and try it out for yourself. See what see what all the hubbub's about. Alright guys, halfway through, we're on number five. And this one, you can tell, has had very much love. Matter of fact, I'm out of it and I will be picking some more up. Maybe not right now because I've got so many foundations I'm kind of on a strike but this is the CoverGirl and Olay and this is color correction foundation tone rehab I believe and mine is in shade nude beige not sure if you could see that that well with the light on it but like I said as you could see I don't know if you could tell but I'm totally out of this stuff I mean there is not a drop left in it that's how much I loved it now really what I would do with this is this was kind of what I used as a primer over my primer, if that makes sense. Um, I would put my primer on, then I would put this on, and I mean, it would just give you that flawless look. It made it, your skin look so flawless. But it didn't last no time at all. So I got to where I would put this over top of my primer, and then I would get another foundation to put on top of this. And it actually made that foundation last longer than they're supposed to and I've used them with most of these foundations and the ones that I say don't last but a couple of hours they actually go a lot longer whenever I've done that so I definitely will be repurchasing this and I do think you ought to try this out and try to do it like I said the you know primer over primer if that does make sense trust me if you try it you'll see what I'm talking about hopefully if not 
Like I said, everybody's different. You never know. But I, it is worth giving it a shot. Okay, now I think we're on number four. This one is one of my favorites. This is the L'Oreal, the 24-hour. I know I got the matte one. This one is the Infallible Pro Glow. And I've got mine in shade Nude Beige. Believe it or not, they're two different shades, the matte and the Luminous Foundation. This one, oh my goodness, what a beautiful foundation. And believe it or not, if you mix this with the Total, total Coverage Matte, if you mix these two together, I have never seen such a perfect foundation. It gives you a soft matte look. It is beautiful. But wearing this alone is just as gorgeous. This is just an awesome, I, I couldn't say too many good things about this. I love this foundation. I think they really hit it out of the park with this one. But if you're ever around the drugstore, you ought to try picking this one up. And like I said, pick the other one up. Try them together and see if it works. I mean, it's worth a shot. It's better than paying $50 to $150 for a high-end foundation when all we're trying to do is go out to find that Holy Grail foundation. And it definitely is worth giving it a shot. Okay, now number three is the Maybelline Fit Me. Now this one is at the loom or the matte one. I like the dewy and smooth. Now this one works a lot better on me than the matte one. I do have the matte one. I just like this one better for some reason. And again, you can mix these both also. I mean, it works just as beautifully. Mine is uh, from normal to dry skin and mine is in shade buff beige. That beige, they love throwing that in a lot of foundations, don't they? This, the only problem I have with this is the packaging. It's not the pump. It is actually the pour. This, it just makes a mess, but oh my God, it's worth it because it is a beautiful foundation. And it's not really that luminous. I kind of feel like it gives you a soft matte look. It, I mean, it's just gorgeous. It wears beautifully during the day. It blends. You could blend cream, cream contour, anything on top of it. It's beautiful. And then when you powder it, it looks so awesome. It's just flawless. And it is definitely worth picking this one up. I can't remember how much it was. I can't remember how much I paid for it. But it's worth a shot. Try it out, girls. You're missing out if you're not trying out these foundations if you keep going for high end because I'm telling you there are some really good ones in here. Now, number two. Yeah, we're on number two. This is the L'Oreal, the True Match Lumi Foundation. You knew I had to throw it in there. And look how mine looks. Is that not awful? It is taped up and everything else. It looks like a zombie it's my zombie foundation, but oh my gosh, it is beautiful. And mine is actually in W4 Natural Beige. Now this is one of the foundations. This is the perfect match for my skin. It is beautiful. And it wears. This has got it all, girls. This has got the wear time. This is, it's got the flawless look. It's everything. You know, these people really, really done good with these. L'Oreal, I'm telling you, they made their place on the map with this one because it is awesome. And I definitely, I've been using this for two years. Not this same one, but on, you know, I'll go to the store and get another one. When I'm out, I will go get another one. I've had, this is probably my fourth bottle and it is actually almost out if you could see. I'm not sure if you could tell. I doubt it, but. I'm definitely picking some more of this up because I can't go on without this foundation. I mean, this is my definite, I, this is my backup. If one foundation don't work, if I wash it off my face, this is what's going on in its place. This is an awesome foundation. I think everybody should try it at least one time. Now, girls, for our number one, ba -ba -ba -da, this is the Milani, the Conceal and Perfect. Of course, this is the two-in-one foundation and concealer. Mine's in O2 Natural. Natural. This foundation, when I got the Milani, it definitely let this one rest because this one is, it's got everything that that has in it, but more because you can use this for concealer also. And I have tried it like that. I have tried to go 
with foundation and concealer just out of this bottle and it works wonderful and the wear time is awesome there's nothing bad that i have to say about this foundation one thing though i did get the color off just a little bit but you know what it it still matches you know whenever i get foundation i'm trying to match my neck i don't try to match my face it's two different tones like my neck my rest of my body's like cool tone my face is kind of warm tone so I do go for the cool tone colors. And this one is a cool tone. It's just a little bit lighter than what I wanted. But you know what? I've got the other one on the way. I can't remember what, what I think it was 03. I'm not sure what the name of it was. But this, this is my number one and it is in number one spot for a reason. I think everybody should try this out. I think it would work on anybody's skin my sister she's got oily skin and it definitely works for me hopefully my cat don't knock down the camera he is trying his worst well that's the end of the video i'm glad y'all come and watch my video today and i do hope y'all like and subscribe and like i said if you've seen in the last video i've got one coming up where my son does my makeup I'm so excited for that one. I want to do some of these challenges. I want to jump in and see what's going on. I think it's going to be so much fun. And like I said, I hope you do like and subscribe and come back and see me. And let's get this channel growing. Love you all.